in the club with my shades on. Thanks you. Bye. <laughs>
I feel like I have been in the past, but technically not. I can get very impatient, even in my daily life, in my, you know, like in simple things and in difficult things. What I mean, it seems like getting something or getting something done. I have this sense of I want to get this thing done now, and if I if I don't see it getting done, it bites me. I like I am just uneasy. So I want to leave that in 2023. This year, I'm going to be patient. Like I'm giving everything to God. Like I'm not holding any myself accountable for anything. Like I'm washing it off my hands. When I have an issue, I just carry it from my table, put it on top of God's table, and that's that. However it happens, I'm not going to assume that that's how it's supposed to happen. That's like I'm about to leave this thing in school. That spirit of, oh, I want this now, I want this now, I want this now. But no, we are not doing that this year. So the spirit of impatience, into the dusty. Patience, right here now. Yes, moving on. Unintentional friendships, because since I'm leaving, I'm leaving unintentional friendships in 2023. This year, <laughs> if we are not like I don't know if I could get a picture to really describe what I mean by this but you have to be pointing to me and I'm pointing to you. That's just how I feel. I'm not um, engaging myself in friendships where I feel like I'm taking the toll, like I keep pouring, 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 and all you do is sit down and receive and me with nothing that is ending in 2023 i am not doing this year i'm not entertaining unnecessary friendships that is not helping me move i'm not entertaining people that i cannot call to tell my problems i'm not entertaining people that are not calling me to check up on me to see how i am doing the same way i'm pointing into my friends the same way i expect my friends to point to me the same way i'm checking up on you and make sure you're fine the same way i expect you to check up on me and make sure i'm fine the same way you're treating me as like because the, same, the way i see friendship i see friendship as like a therapy session and if i'm not comfortable telling you my problems i don't think yeah, my friend, that's what I'm saying. It's from now on, I am entering 2024 with friends that I feel comfortable telling me my lowest points. Like, and I am friends that are not going to judge me, friends that are going to take me for what I am. I don't have to behave like I'm somebody else while being with you. Those are the type of friendships that I'm engaging myself in in 2024. This year, I'm being very intentional with my friendships. Like anybody that I talk to, anybody that I bring close to me, anybody that enters my house, like I just want to be very intentional with my space, with my energy, and I don't want to mix it up. I don't want to tarnish where I'm at right now. So that's that. The next thing is procrastination. I'm leaving that in what? 2023. I'm going to do this. Favor. <laughs> I will do this. Let me check if my mic is still on. Yeah, it is. I will do this. I will do this now. But you know, either I'm not doing it all, or I don't even know how to explain it. But I'm not procrastinating anything I feel like I decide that has to be done. Like I told myself that this year, every week, I'm going to be releasing a video during the weekend, either Friday, Saturday, Sunday, to release the pressure on me. Like, but I feel like I'm going to miss this week and it's really killing me and annoying that I am missing this week. So because of that, I'm going to post this video. I'm sure I have another video to post by next weekend. Like, I want to be very strict on my timeline and take, like, it cannot be procrastinating. There's no time. So why am I procrastinating? Like, time is not on anybody's side. Time is money. So anything that I feel like I want to get done, I'm going to get done. Yes, yes. Let me add something else while we're at it. My time. Time wasters. Anything that is wasting my time this year, I've left it in the door thing. December 31st, 2023. Moving into this year, if I just notice that me going here or me doing this is wasting my time, I am not doing it. Me talking to you is wasting my time. I am not doing it. I'm not going to waste my time on things that are not deserving of my time on things that i know or on people that i feel like are not worth my time and same goes to anybody out there if you feel like i'm not worth your time fine just 
leave me out of it because this year I want to, like I said, time is money and time is going fast and I want to make good use of my time moving on, on onwards, all the years coming and all that, like I want to make good use of my time, so that's part of it. The next thing here is unnecessary talking stages and we all know what talking stages are. This year, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm not doing that. I'm not. How are you? How are you doing? What are you eating? What do you eat? Nah. Mm-mm. I am listening to only meaningful talking stages. If you are coming to talk to me, come correct. Talk future. If you are just asking me, how am I doing? Come out for a drink. Come on, let's hang out. Come on. Mm mm. I don't want. Like, <laughs> all of that in the dustbin. So, when you even tell me, I just go straight to the point. Don't find girl me. My mother used to tell me something that she, she said that I'm a bit too girl. I should not allow anybody to deceive me with that. So, anybody that tells me, sit over your bitch, I say, yes, my mother used to tell me that I'm beautiful. So, I don't need you to tell me that I'm beautiful again. I know. Thank you very much. I know that I'm just for my mother tells me. Like, just come correct. Come straight to the point. I'm not saying, oh, maybe you talk to me, wife me. No, but like, I have to see something meaningful in the talking stage. In the talking stage is just a whole lot of riffraff talk. I do not want to this year. Like, this year is different for me, honestly speaking. I don't want to indulge in anything I don't waste my time. So, on next street talking stage, right in the dustbin. Thank you very much. It was nice, but but the next thing here is bad money management. This year I want to really budget. I want to know how to handle money. Like I don't want to be scared of money. Like, you know when when you create this balance between you and money, but money gravitates to more to you. I want to know how to spend money. In the past, I feel like I would spend my money flamboyantly. I would not have savings and all that. But not this year. Like I want to be debt free. I want to have savings. I want to look back and know that okay, I spent my money on this. Like now, what I do, I write down things that I want to spend my money on, and that's exactly what I spend my money on. I tick them out before I start spending on, you know, sweet things around. I ensure that because I look back and I'm like, fever. I've worked. I've struggled, I've been gifted, and I'm looking back and I'm like, what did you do? Like, I want to look back and see things I've acquired in my money that I'm happy that I've acquired these things. Like, that's just how I want this year to be. Bad money management in the dustbin. This year, I'm going to manage my money way, way, way better. And that's on period. By the grace of God, too. Let's not forget God. Yeah, that is that. The next thing I'm leaving in 2023 is anxiety. <laughs> Unfortunately, I carried it small into this January, but I'm entering February in the dustbin. Like, currently, I'm having a situation I'm going through, but you see tomorrow. <laughs> hey, if it is God's will, it happens. If it's not God's will, ma'am, I face my first night continue. Like, I don't want anything to stress me to start giving me this anxiety, but I am jumpy, I'm thinking, I'm wondering. I'm receiving this phone call, I'm receiving that phone call, I'm looking over my shoulders, any message that comes into my phone. Nah, I'm not being anxious about anything. Whatever is going to be will be, and what will not be will not be. The way I'm going to see it, anything that happens to me, I'm going to see it as God's will. It happens for my best. Whether good, whether bad, it happens for a reason, and I'm just going to embrace it that way. Anxiety, yes. Next thing. I am living in 2023 is uncertainty about my faith and my conviction. This year, it's personal for me. My conviction is personal. Me and God is a personal relationship. What I believe in, what I gravitate towards, personal. I'm not going to be influenced by anybody about what my faith is. I feel like my faith is between me and God, and I want to build strongly on that. I'm not going to allow um, anybody to trip me or make me feel like I'm not worthy of that relationship with God. It's very personal for me. And I'm like, I want to take that really, really serious this year. Like, very serious. My devotion to God, like, personal. It's 
I don't want it to be about religion or church. I want it to be more or less spiritual and like deep within kind of feeling. A feeling that I wake up and I feel God around me and I feel him close to me. That's what I would strongly want for this present year. Another thing that we are living in 2023 is oversharing. Favor, I carry a cup in that one. I feel like, eh? God, I, it's how I slept last night, but my neck is been... Um, I feel like I overshare. I say things that I am not supposed to say. I got to look. And funny enough, eh, I'm very proud of myself because, like, even um, embarking on this, my YouTube journey, I feel like I haven't even known myself. I felt like I would have blabbed my entire life out. But we are even managing... Um, knowing what I want to put out there and be very intentional about it, I'm so proud of myself. Because by now, I would have known my my stories from days. Like, I mean, very, being very intentional about the story times that I'm going to let out. Because I saw, like, and it's just a trend nowadays that you open TikTok, you open YouTube, and you just see telling me things that you're like, ah, babe, why are you saying this day? Like, chill, don't do that. <laughs> People talking about things that are traumatic, and I recently watched a YouTube video, and he was like, "It's like you guys are dumping your traumas on us, and we never even ask for it." And so true. And then I think back, okay, I'm like, okay, I did well with YouTube. I'm not doing that. But then I think to my normal life, I can't. I'm a very friendly person, and I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, but I just feel like sometimes I then tend to overshare things. And when I get back to my house, I'm like, hey, why did you say this person is this? Right? Like, like, keep shots. There are some people that I feel like I am 100% open with, like my closest friends and all that. But apart from that, I don't think I should be oversharing about my life. Like, somebody could ask me, like, Somebody could just ask me, and then I feel like it affects some of my relationship because when I then overshare, and then I realize that the next person is closed off, I feel some type of way. But technically, it might not be a bad thing that they are that way, but I just feel like, girl, I'm telling you my deepest, darkest secrets, and you're just going around giving me peanuts. Mm -mm. So when it comes to closest friends, I don't like that. But in general, like acquaintances and people that we just colleagues you know and all that i feel like i could just sit down with you and just start bonding and i i can be as open as an open book and you just know things that not really bad things but things that i feel like why am i telling this person this and what i'm really trying to learn is to keep things to myself some certain things that i get it done before when i want to get something done I just start talking about it. Oh, I want this, I want this, I want this. Now, <laughs> because before I used to, I used to, I tell myself, and I still stand on that. What I do not know, it does not affect me. So if I tell you all my plans for this year, you feel like you are going somewhere to attack against this plan. As far as I do not know about it, none of my business, because the backing that I have with me is, is great. So whatever you are doing doesn't affect me. And yes, I understand that. But then I now sat down and analyze my head that sometimes there's some energies that just not necessarily block things but then delay things that could have come faster just because you overshare them too soon that's how i see it so from now on i'm going to get things done then celebrate with people i love about those things and if things are holding me down i know the people that i go and meet i know my people that i meet and i tell those things to but when it comes to some certain other people, like, I have to learn how to just keep some things to myself until I get it done. And that's that. And I think the final thing is um, a lack of enjoyment. So this year I said, hmm, it's my year of enjoyment. So I'm going to try my best to enjoy myself in whatever I am doing. One thing I tell myself, I want to enjoy my 20s. I want to enjoy myself so much. I want to enjoy myself when I'm still so young. I don't want to, like most times, you know, like people they say, it's come, money will come, enjoy will come. No, I want to, like, I want to be young and bubbly and still youthful, enjoying my life. I don't want to struggle, 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 struggle to not enjoy when I'm old and wrinkly. No, those trips, I want to take it when, when I can walk on high heels and when I can run a mile. I don't want to be holding my cane and standing in front of my beautiful house. Or maybe a vacation house on the beach and i'm like wow 
this is this is why is what you work for no i want to start enjoying myself from now and that's on period like so yeah thank you very much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and share the video it's not even for anybody thank you and bye Mwah. in the club with my shades on thanks you bye bye the lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, my heritage is beautiful to me. Psalm 16, verse 6.